What happens if you trash talk Steph Curry? Let's play Full Court Baby, your go-to channel for the most interesting basketball topics. The first unwritten rule in trash talking is that whatever happens on the court stays there. Trash talking goes hand in hand with basketball probably more than any other sport. From Rucker Park in New York City to the Drew League in Los Angeles, part of the entertainment is the verbal sparring that even the public address announcer takes part in. Michael Jordan, Gary Payton, Kobe Bryant, Charles Barkley, Reggie Miller, Allen Iverson, Kevin Garnett, and Larry Bird took pride in talking trash on the NBA hardwood. It's also been commonplace on blacktops and gyms across America for decades. The classic old school trash talking in which physical confrontations and insulting other players were a norm is no longer active in the NBA today. Players nowadays get fined for using any excessive physicality or derogatory language during games. Therefore, Curry has his own way of letting the opposing players know he has their number in that game. Steph Curry has been praised for his humility during his ascent as one of basketball's biggest stars. That humble attitude apparently extends to his trash talking too. During one of the Dubs Talk podcast episodes with NBC Sports Area's Grant Liffman and Kendra Andrews, the Warriors star described his style of trash talk. It's definitely under the radar, Curry told Liffman and Andrews. That's just my nature. I guess in general I keep it confined to the game. I don't have material of life or like good one-liners and stuff like that. I keep it to what's happening in that moment. I guess my mannerisms play a little bit more of a role, facial expressions or pointing or celebrations that might rub people the wrong way, but I'm having fun out there. To quote a very old song, you don't tug on Superman's cape and you don't spit into the wind. It's time to add, you don't trash talk Stephen Curry to the list. Houston's Kevin Porter Jr. was chirping at Curry in the third quarter at one point getting next to him, hands on knees to do some trash talking. KPJ's chirping didn't phase Steph. But it wasn't the only instance. Kevin Porter Jr. hits a three over Steph and talks some trash. Steve Kerr's reaction to the trash talk? He highly encouraged it. Curry didn't answer with words. He responded with 21 points in the fourth quarter and 40 for the game to spark the Warriors to a 122-108 to 108 win. Porter Jr. said after the game he wasn't trash-talking Curry, he was just locked in. Sure, <laughs> if you say so. But the bottom line is Curry took it as trash-talk and he has a couple of gears Porter Jr. or nobody else on the court can hit. Don't make Curry angry or you wouldn't like him when he's angry. In his 53-point performance, when Curry surpassed Wilt Chamberlain to become the Warriors' all-time leading scorer in franchise history, cameras caught him jawing after making a three-pointer over Denver Nuggets guard Facundo Campazzo. This is video game Steph. There is nothing Campazzo can do. It was good defense, but Curry is in the zone. Seeing how young guys react when playing Steph for the first time is interesting. Most of the time, Curry doesn't say a word. His barrages of buckets and shimmies can be demoralizing enough. If there is something chattering back and forth or some people trying to get physical and all that type of stuff, Steph is ready for those moments. He is not the instigator either. He is a good retaliator in that respect. From watching afar, it's easy to assume that Steph Curry looks like a laid-back player who does nothing but dominate on the basketball court with his calm, baby-like assassin face and persona. Curry is the type to knock down threes, do his business, and lead his team to victory night in and night out. However, many don't know about Curry's fierce and competitive side. Yes, Steph Curry is an avid trash talker on the court. Ask LeBron James, who once told the world not to be fooled by Curry's charming smile and persona. Aside from James, the most recent superstar to experience Curry's fierce side is no other than Dallas Mavericks superstar 
Luka Doncic, who went back and forth with the three-time champion during the Western Conference Finals. To the point that Curry told Doncic to shut up. In Curry's defense, Doncic talks a lot of smack as well. In fact, it was the Maverick superstar who started bickering with Curry during the Western Conference Finals series. One moment captured on camera was when Doncic called out Curry for missing a free throw and said, Damn, what's going on man, you scared? Curry didn't allow Doncic's words to get to him, and he replied with a simple but savage, Hey Luca, would you shut up? Luca was really trying to play mind games with Steph. Stephen Curry hit a nasty three to put the Golden State Warriors up nine in the final minute of game two. He then made the savage gesture to put the Dallas Mavericks to bed. Night, night. Stephen Curry is no stranger to celebrating big buckets, but the Warrior star rarely draws flack for them. He's one of the most beloved and respected superstars in the game and seemingly has a pass to let his hair down on the court. Stephen Curry loves the game and enjoys the game in a way that draws wonder and amusement from fans watching at home. It's clear that his celebrations are drawn from pure ecstasy rather than trying to belittle any opponent. That's not all. Another time Curry told Luka to shut up was when the latter accused the baby assassin of flopping throughout the game. Doncic even went as far as imitating Curry's shimmy after knocking down a buzzer-beating three-pointer to end a quarter. Ultimately though, it was Curry who got the last laugh. Of course, trash talking has always been a part of competitive basketball. What Curry and Doncic got into is pretty much what happens almost every game. However, their altercation throughout the series depicts who they are as players. Curry is a fierce competitor who won't back down from anyone, while Doncic is a young superstar who knows he can talk his shit even against the best players in the league. At least the animosity between both Curry and Doncic stayed on the court. They were pretty much cool with each other once the final buzzer ended, and Doncic showed sportsmanship by congratulating the Warriors for advancing. At the end of the day, these superstars will always put on a show, and nothing's better than seeing Curry and Doncic go at it. Curry also added there are still players who try to impose their physicality or insult you in a way that is unrelated to the game itself bringing up close friends or family. He tries to keep it confined to the game as much as he can, and Curry is the type of guy that always keeps it super nice, humble, and somewhat innocent, even though he is pretty much destroying every defender that has the assignment to guard him. We've rarely seen Curry get into verbal or any other altercation with other players, and he lets his game do the talking. We've seen on several occasions guys like Pat Beverly that get into his face trying to instigate something, but Curry always kept his cool and never let anyone play mind games with him. Patrick Beverly reportedly dissed Steph Curry years ago, and it still haunts him today. After Curry and the Warriors dynasty dominated the league for five consecutive years, Beverly reportedly told Curry, You had the last five years. The next five years are mine. The exchange reportedly happened during the Clippers' win over the Warriors early in the 2019 to 2020 season. The viral story continues to circulate and every year social media reminds him of his words. Since the initial report, the quote has been used as ammunition against Beverly after the Minnesota Timberwolves traded Beverly to the Utah Jazz for Rudy Gobert. After being traded to multiple teams while Curry has remained with Golden State, the trolls probably will never forget to remind Beverly of his words. Curry's monster performances in the last few weeks are louder than any words and we can only hope he has more left in the tank to get the Warriors back in the playoffs. The Warriors star would want nothing more than to play for another NBA ring. Stephen Curry's celebrations during the finals are surely going to be something to behold. The world is well aware of the fact that you can't just trash talk Stephen Curry and get away with it. Curry didn't earn the moniker of the baby-faced assassin just because of his dominant play, but also for his ability to shut the mouths of his opponents with his game. Steph is a ticking time bomb, ready to explode anytime. We hope you enjoyed our video topic today. Interact with us, 
subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any type of videos you would like to see on this channel.